Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported my music file, image file which I will be using as background, and pre-rendered music sites badge. You can download all of them, and also this After Effects template, for free from a link given in the description. Now let's create our audio visualizer, create a new composition. Name it as visualizer. Here for this composition. We need to set time duration of our music file, here the music I am going to use is of 1 minute. So I will set time duration to 1 minute, you can set it according to your music length. Add music file to timeline. Pre-compose this music layer, name this composition as music. Perfect. Now let's add the image file to the timeline, you can scale your image file if needed. Now pre-compose this image layer. Name it as media. Select move all attributes into new composition. Perfect. For media composition, press S to bring up scale, at end of the timeline. Create keyframe for scale. At start of the timeline, change scale value to 120%. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as color. For this layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid layer. Here you can set the start color according to your choice. For start ramp, position it to the center. For end ramp, position it below. For solid layer, press T to bring up the opacity, set opacity to 30%. Here you can change the color of this solid layer according to your background image any time you want. Now let's create another solid layer. We will use this layer to create particles. For particle layer. In effects and preset. Search for CC starburst. Add it to the particles layer. Change scatter value to minus 700. Change particles speed to 0.02 You can see the preview. To change the color of the particles, we need to add the gradient ramp effect. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to the particles layer. Here you can change the color of the particles. Due to ramp effect, you can see two different colors of particles, you can set color for these particles according to background layer. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. We will use this layer for audio visualizer. In effects and preset, search for audio spectrum. Add it to the visualizer layer. For audio spectrum, change audio layer to our music composition. Here we will change start frequency to 1100. Frequency band to 150. Change maximum height to 
2000. Change thickness to 4, softness to 0. Here you can change the visualizer inner and outer color. Or you can search for fill. Add it to the visualizer. Set visualizer color. Perfect. Here we will not adjust the spectrum start and end points. But we will adjust the layer position. For visualizer layer, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second. Create keyframe for opacity. At start of the timer line, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now press P to bring up the position. Adjust the position. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Press R to bring up rotation. Rotate it to 180 degrees. Now adjust the position for duplicate visualizer. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now let's add the text. I will add the music name. Here I am using Montserrat font family. For text, I will use black font style. Adjust the font size. Adjust the position manually or you can align the text to center. Now let's animate this text layer. In animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. In range select a 1. At 10 frames. Create keyframe for start. At 2 seconds. Change start to 100%. In advanced, change based on two words. Now let's add property position. Set position value for y axis to 100. Perfect. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now let's add the subtext. Here you can add the artist name or album name. Here I will change font style to medium. Reduce the font size. Align it to the center. For text layer, press T to bring up opacity, at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. At start of the timer line, change it to 0. Now we will place this text layer at 2 seconds. Now let's create duplicate of this text layer. Adjust the position of duplicate text layer. Change text. This is an optional layer, if you want to add then you can add it, or skip this text layer. For this text layer, I will reduce the font size. I will place this layer at distance of 10 to 15 frames.
Now again create duplicate of this layer. Place it below the spectrum. Here you can add your channel name. For this text layer, I will reduce the font size. I will place this layer at 3 seconds. Perfect. Now from the project panel, add the media badge to the timeline. Here you can see this media file ends at 5 seconds, we need to extend this media file. To do that, for this media layer, we need to enable time remapping. Now at 4 seconds, where the animation ends, create time keyframe. Now stretch the layer to end of the timeline. Now place this end keyframe at end of the timeline. You can see the media badge will be visible till the end of your visualizer. Let's scale this media badge. Adjust the position. Now you can add the remaining badge and do the same, time keyframing. Or simple and easy method is to create duplicate of this media layer. Now adjust the position for duplicates. Now to replace them, select the media badge on the timeline, now while pressing, Alt key, select the media badge you want to replace with. Drag it over the media badge you want to change. Perfect. Do the same for remaining media badge. Perfect. Select all the media badge. Place them at 5 seconds. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our music visualizer is created. You can use this visualizer for your podcast also. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.